In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Tag Manager for ClickFunnels. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. So before we get into this video, guys, my name is Shash Singh and we run a YouTube ad agency that has helped our clients generate over $30 million with YouTube ads. So that gives you an idea of where this information is coming from. So let's get right into this video. So what is Google Tag Manager and why should you use it, right? A lot of people get confused about this. They don't understand why they have to use it, what the benefits are and so on. So what Google Tag Manager is, it's basically a tag management system that allows you to take all the different tags and pixels from all the different softwares and tools you use and put them into one place. So if you think about kind of how, let's say Google Analytics or the Facebook pixel work, right? They're pieces of code that you put on your website. Now, the thing is, if you're not technical, doing that can be really hard, right? Going onto your website and finding the right head and the right body and putting that code in there. What Google Tag Manager allows you to do is it allows you to set up these codes in another layer, right? So it's another tool where you go in there, you put in the code, it's super easy to use. And really what it does is it makes sure that you really can manage these tags without having to use a developer. With the Google Tag Manager, you can set up the Facebook pixel, the Google remarketing tag, Google Analytics, Google AdWords conversion tracking tag. You can even set up pixels for tools like Hotjar and so on. So it really is a very useful tool. Now, the best part about Google Tag Manager is it's completely free and it integrates with Google. So if you're setting up Google Analytics, it's super simple because it's literally like a, it's almost like a two-step deal to set up Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager. So as you can see here with Google Tag Manager, you can essentially set up a bunch of different pixels in here. And as opposed to manually putting them into your website, you can just control it all through here. Obviously, as you can notice, we have a bunch because we do have a tracking guy who sets them up. But whenever we wanna set up a conversion, we just go in here and then we can decide that, hey, these are the triggers. So this, for example, if you look at this conversion right here, we've used it in a bunch of places. So we have a bunch of triggers for different pages, right? So for example, if they hit this URL, then they are basically, this conversion is fired. Or if they hit this URL, this conversion is fired. So it allows us to basically decide which um, triggers will fire this code, right? And it's super easy. As you can see, it's literally like page view and it fires on these URLs. And as you can see, you can also use it for all kinds of different tools, right? So you can have basically, uh, for example, you can see over here, we use it with Facebook Pixel. We use it for a lot of conversions. We use it for unbounce. So really anything that has a pixel on it where you normally have to go into the website backend, you can just set it up with Google Tag Manager and it's just a one-time setup. So that's why it's so powerful. So the way this works is there's essentially triggers. So a trigger is what fires the event. So if somebody goes, let's say lands on this page, it will basically fire this pixel, right? So the Google, uh, this event with Google Analytics will fire based on that, right? And then that trigger will make this kind of, so it's like a trigger and then action kind of setup. So it's super simple to understand. Once you get it, it's quite easy to do. Now there's more to it. There's variables, which is what you use to define triggers. So basically a page URL is going to be a variable, a click element that's going to be a variable. So it's going to be something like certain page or a certain button that people click on and that's going to fire the trigger. Now, what are the benefits of using Google Tag Manager? The first benefit is that you can set up your tracking codes a lot faster with a lot less error than if you would go in and manually set it up. And it also has a preview and debug mode. So when you're basically setting up new conversions or new pixels or new setups, you can go and basically debug it and preview it before you test it. And the best part is it's very simple and easy to track basic events and conversions as opposed to hard coding them. It also comes with a bunch of stuff preloaded. So setting up Google Analytics is super simple because it's literally you just put in your Google Analytics ID and it's extremely simple to get that set up. And then the last piece is, I don't know if you've run ads and you've had a conversion and then let's say another developer or somebody else on the team just completely you know, messes up the code and then the conversion just fires a million times and then your ad account just goes crazy with your ad cost just going up. That's often a really common occurrence, right? People mess with the conversions, either it stops firing or it fires too much 
and then you don't have clean data, the algorithm goes crazy, etc. The Google Tag Manager, you pretty much prevent that from happening because of the fact that Google Tag Manager is so much more organized than just having a bunch of code on a website where somebody can come in and easily mess it up. With Google Tag Manager, you can exactly see what changes are made um, because of the whole fact that you can preview things it really just makes things a lot easier. Now, how do you set up a Google Tag Manager account? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to tagmanager.google.com and then you're gonna click on create account, right? So you're basically gonna create a brand new account and you'll have obviously your business name, you'll have your country. So whatever country you're running ads with, so whatever country you're based in, and then you'll have your container setup, which is typically the same thing or your website URL. And then you would say which target platform. So if you're using this on your website, you just do web. Obviously, if you're doing it on an app, you will use iOS app. And then there's a service agreement that you have to click yes to. And there you go, it's set up. And then you'll have this code, right? So you'll, this is the only time with Google Tag Manager where you have to set up code. So you take that header code, put it into Notepad, and then you'll also have the body code so I'll show you how to set this up in ClickFunnels in a second. So I just wanna show you kind of the how to set up the account. So yeah, you have the header and then the body code. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you where to put this code into ClickFunnels so you can get your um, Google Tag Manager account set up with ClickFunnels. All right, now in this step of the video, we're gonna show you how to set up Google Tag Manager inside ClickFunnels. So what, what you do is you go inside ClickFunnels, click on Funnels, and then you go to the funnel name of whatever funnel is trying to set this up on. So you, you kind of have to do this for every funnel you have. And then what you do is you go to settings and what you'll do is you'll basically have this head tracking code, which is the code we talked about. So the code that's at the top, you copy it, go in there, paste it, and then you take that body code and you paste it inside body tracking code and then you save and update settings. And there you go, you have set up Google Tag Manager for your ClickFunnels account. So that's pretty much it. And then now it's set up and then you can go inside Google Tag Manager and set up the various tags and so on. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how to set up Google Tag Manager for ClickFunnels. Let me know if you have any questions below and please smash that like button for this video to get some love. And guys, this kind of video, it's like a sneak preview of what we have in our Lynx Expert YouTube ads course, where we have a full, huge training module on setting up Google Tag Manager, setting up Google Analytics, setting up Google Ads conversion tracking, anything to do with the tracking set of things we cover in the training program. So if you're looking to take your YouTube ads and tracking knowledge to the next level, there'll be a link below to check out that training program.